Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. If you didn't catch the announcement, Panasonic has announced a brand new telephoto lens. It's the 55-200 f2.8-4 ASPH Power OIS lens. Now, this is a Leica DG Vario Almeret lens. I think I'm saying that right, Almeret. So this is one of their higher-end graded lens in the sense that their, their top spec lenses get the Leica branding on them. So it's kind of like an L-series lens for Canon, if you will. Now, this is an interesting lens because I was looking through here, and Panasonic already has quite a few lenses in a similar range or lenses that cover something close to that. So we have a 100 to 300 f4 to 5.6 version 2, and that's $599.99. I should point out that this new lens, the 50 to 200, is 1699.99. So it's an f2.8 to 4 OIS too. So that's what you're you're paying largely for there is um, the range, but also it's a 2.8 to 4, which is a faster lens. Obviously not a constant aperture f2.8, but faster being a 2.8 to 4. You can also get a 100 to 400 millimeter f4 to 6.3 for 17.99. So very close in price there. We have a hundred dollars price difference between the two, and you get 400 mils on the long end instead of 200. Uh, granted, it's a little slower. It's a 4 to 6.3. Um, but I got to say that type of lens probably appeals to me more because I like more of a super telephoto if I'm out shooting in a telephoto setting. Like if I'm at the zoo or if I'm shooting sports or wildlife or anything like that, I'm going to like the 400 mil end on that more than I'm going to like the 200 mil. Some less expensive options. We still have available the 45 to 200 f4 to 5.62, and that's 449. You can get a 45 to 150 f4 to 5.6 for 249.99. And there's actually, I think it's an older. I'm not sure on that one, but the 45 to 175 uh, still appears available on the website, anyways, for 449. So there's a few options out here to get the longer reach, and um, I think the interesting thing for me would be. The 100 to 300 f4 to 562, I, I don't think I've had that in for testing. I think I'm going to requisition that because at 599.99, that to me seems to be a nice sweet spot. Similar to the fact that with Nikon's, I always like the 70 to 300 VR. It was a very great performing lens. People even use it on full frame, and it was in that price point there too as well, somewhere around $500. Um, so it was an option to a much more expensive lens like this 1699 lens, the new one, the 50 to 200, or the 100 to 400 at 1799. Now the 100 to 400 at 1799, I'm quite interested in that too. I should get that in for review because that's effectively an 800 mil lens when you consider the two times crop factor. So for field of view, effective field of view, you're looking at an 800. That's a 200 to 800 millimeter lens. So if you're going to spend that kind of money, to me, that's where there's a nice sweet spot. Now, some people are going to be interested in the new one, the 55 to 2, because of the speed. It's a 2.8 to 4. So if you're shooting in situations where you want a faster lens, where you need a faster lens, you want to get your shutter speed up maybe, um, then that lens is probably going to be of interest to you. Uh, $16.99.99. It's, and it's Leica, so it's you know the top end of that. So I'm just curious what you guys think of this new Panasonic lens announcement. Uh, is the 55 to 200 of interest to you? Is that 2.8 to 4 speed, that faster aperture, is that why it's of interest to you? Is that why you would spend the money, $16.99.99? Or do you tend to lean more the way I would go is that the 100 to 400, I would, for the same money, would just rather have the extra reach and I can sacrifice a little bit of the speed um, and that would be of more interest to me. I'm just curious to see what you guys have to say. I'm curious, I guess, to get a feel for what the interest in this lens is. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be people interested in it, but I'm just curious for you guys, for our viewers here, are you more interested in this new announcement, this new lens, or would you go with something um, either less expensive with better, or I shouldn't say less expensive, a little more expensive with better reach, like the 100 to 400, or less expensive, something like the 100 to 300, the F4.5.6.2. I'm, I'm assuming this new one's going to have a little bit slightly better optics, I would think. I would expect. It's like a branded. It's faster. Um, but I think that 100 to 300 is a decent performer. Let me know what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Are you interested in it? Which way would you go? Are you, would you be more interested if you're going to spend that money on a 100 to 400? Do you own the 100 to 400? What do you think of it? 
let me know. Let's discuss it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.